What's up, everyone? Welcome to the 28th edition of 500 Startups Demo Day. My name is Amit Bhatti. I'm one of the investors here at 500 Global HQ here in San Francisco. It's my pleasure to host all of you this morning, afternoon, or evening, depending on where you're joining from. Demo Days are a huge part of the DNA of 500, but the last few have been pretty different than the first 25. This is now our third entirely virtual demo day since the start of the pandemic. And I don't know if any of us thought we'd still be pantsless on Zoom more than a year and a half in. Jokes aside, there is one new change when it comes to demo days. As we announced last year, we accept companies on a fully rolling basis now. That means that we're reviewing applications and funding companies all year round as opposed to one large cohort. Now, the new change is that companies are now able to present a demo day when it makes sense and when they're ready to fundraise. It's been great to see companies now using this flexibility to grow and fundraise at a more natural cadence, and we, we hope you'll see that in their pitches today. For any founders watching and interested to learn more about the program and how to apply, you can find more details on our website at 500.co under the flagship accelerator program. Before we get into the main event, I'd like to give a huge thanks to all of our network partners, without whom we wouldn't be able to put on programs at the same size and scale. For the audience, if you're looking for ways to follow along with the program today, you can head over to 500demoday.co, where you'll find background and basic information on the companies presenting. And for investors in the audience, if you haven't already done so, don't forget to join us in the virtual space hosted by Philo. There you can speak directly to the founders you're going to hear from today, book meetings, as well as connect with other investors and attendants. Now, next, it's my distinct pleasure to introduce the founding partner and CEO of 500 Global, Christine Tsai, to share a couple words. Hello to everyone around the world. I hope you're staying safe as we kick off our third digital demo day with Batch 28. This is a very special day for the founders who are about to present, and it's also a very special time for us. We just announced that 500 Startups is now 500 Global. When we embarked on this journey 11 years ago, we had a rather contrarian belief that exceptional founders exist in all corners of the world. That conviction led us to invest in companies, not just outside of Silicon Valley, but outside of the US, in places like Latin America, Asia, the Middle East, Africa, Southeast Asia, and more. Today, we've backed over 6,000 founders representing more than 2,500 companies in 77 countries. And we have team on the ground in more than 15 countries. Nearly half of our portfolio companies are based outside of the US. So our new identity as 500 Global really reflects that diversity of our investments. We're also excited to share that we've closed our largest fund to date of 140 million, bringing our total AUM to 1.8 billion. In addition to our accelerator and seed investments, we're expanding the scope of our investment strategy, making more significant investments at the later stages of a company's growth. Overall, our portfolio includes 33 companies valued over $1 billion and more than 120 companies valued over $100 million. Some examples include TalkDesk, Canva, Bukalapak, Grab, Shippo, and many more. TalkDesk and Shippo in particular are alumni of our global flagship accelerator, Batch 3 and Batch 8, respectively. Today, we welcome a very select group of founders who are ready to graduate. As a reminder, we now have a rolling admissions process where companies can apply to our accelerator any day of the year, whenever they're ready. With Batch 28, 37% of the founders in Batch 28 identify as Black, with several from Africa, 28.5% hail from Asia, and 20% identify as female. They're all building great companies with great potential, from healthcare to consumer, SaaS, fintech, and blockchain. On behalf of the 500 Global team and Batch 28, thanks for tuning in from wherever you are, and for supporting our companies, as well as our mission to uplift people and economies around the world through entrepreneurship. Without further ado, I'll hand the mic over to my colleague and our illustrious MC, Amit Bhatti. Thanks, Christine. And now, without further ado, let's get into what you're all waiting for, and that's the pitches from the founders. Today's pitches are organized by industry vertical, and we're going to start with healthcare. 
First, we're going to hear from Tether, a mental and emotional fitness community platform for men. Next is Kira Health, a smart telemedicine company for young women, connecting them to trusted clinicians, including primary care, women's health, and mental health experts. And finally, Jasper, a payments and financing platform for private practices to create smooth patient checkouts and boost provider cash flow. See you back here in a few minutes. Imagine feeling completely isolated. 75% of suicides are committed by men, and despite being a successful hedge fund manager, I was nearly one of them. But before I gave up, I reached out for support online. My co-founder, whose father had died by suicide, responded to my post. We were both in a place where we didn't want to live anymore, but we didn't want to die. We discovered that 80% of men were dealing with a mental health issue. The gap was a lack of dedicated spaces where men could share openly. We got to work and built Tether. Tether is the solution to the crisis in men's mental health because we provide a platform specifically designed with the needs of men in mind. Using our mobile app, men learn to reach out for support and engage in expert-led group programming that drastically improves their mental health and well-being. And we've already seen a huge response. Since launching, we have over 9,000 downloads, 1.3 million in-app mental health interactions, and we're growing at 20% month over month. What makes Tether special is that we've discovered how to convert men to paying customers and get them to participate in a mental health community. Over the last six months, we ran two pilots and converted users at twice the industry average. This is how Tether makes money, through a subscription model. And there's a huge market opportunity. 94% of millennials are willing to spend $300 a month on self-improvement. There are 58.7 million men in our initial target markets, a total available market of 198.6 billion. And the scale and visibility of the problem has allowed us to partner with major brands and earn global news coverage. We've leveraged this to create our own podcast network with a 50,000 person monthly reach. My co-founder Addison and I have a proven track record of building businesses that scale and that positively impact humanity. Our mission is to create a platform where every man knows that struggling doesn't make them any less of a man. It simply makes them human. Join us. The U.S. has failed women. Yes, I said it. We are in a major women's health crisis, and this problem starts at a very young age, which has been ignored for far too long until now. We're Kira Health. A virtual health clinic revolutionizing women's health, starting with colleges and universities. Today, the women's health market is valued at about $41 billion, and this is just scratching the surface. There are 20 million students in college and 56% of young women who have health issues but avoid care or self-diagnose due to limited access to the right providers. I personally experienced the effects of this lack of access in college, and this almost cost me my life. Now, only 42% of colleges and universities have an existing health center. And of those that do, only a handful of fully staffed to probably serve the complex needs of young women. At Kira, we solved this problem by working with colleges to connect students to trusted multicultural clinicians, including primary care providers, OBGYNs and mental health experts available 24 seven through their smartphones. Now what started as a simple idea is already changing the lives of many students across the country. In under 16 weeks of launch, we closed three major university contracts averaging about $125,000 per customer. And we're well on our way to achieving our target of over $1 million in revenue within our first year. We have a world-class team of experts in sales, medicine, technology, and business operation, making us the best team to solve this problem. Now remember this, we're Cura Health, we're growing fast, and we're solving this women's health crisis because we know it is up to us to make change in the future of women's health. If you're interested in joining us, come talk to me and my team. 
My name is Crystal Arisania, co-founder and CEO of Cura Health. And I invite you to change the future of women's health together. Thank you. Hi, I'm Muriel, co-founder of Jasper. Jasper is the ultimate toolbox for healthcare private practices to grow their patients' payments business, starting with dentistry. My co-founder Imran needed a root canal when he first came to New York and was uninsured. He applied for financing, but unfortunately was denied. Without much of a choice, he had to put it on his credit card. This is a story that many of us have experienced or have heard about. For the dentists, this is something that they don't wish for their patients to experience at all. And for their business, as well as their patients, they need a better financing and payments solution. Enter Jasper. Jasper is a all-in-one workflow tool that enables offices to get real-time insurance verification, offering in-house payment plans, and enables automated personalized collection. We help offices get up to 99% in collections rate, save up to 30 minutes a day, and grow their cases acceptance up to 12%. That's a potential $50,000 of annual revenues. We charge these offices a simple monthly price and a percentage revenue off of successful payment plans. We launched Jasper this April and are on track to do 60K in ARR, as well as over 3 million of financing applications. Dental is just the start for us. Patients spend 60 billion out of pocket in dental, but over 160 billion in non-hospital elective services. Imra and I deeply understand this problem from our experience at Credit Suisse and Barclays covering these industries. So if you know an office that can benefit with Jasper or investors who share our vision, let us know. Welcome back. Now we'll be hearing from our consumer startups. First, My China Roots. They're empowering the Chinese diaspora to trace their ancestry and connect with their roots. Next, we'll hear from Momo Project, which provides the best personalized nutrition and care for your pets. For 5 billion US, Ancestry.com was sold, helping Caucasians trace their roots. Did you know there are twice as many Chinese as Caucasians? Ancestry never got the historical data for Asians. We do. My name is Kui Han and my China roots came out of my own family history search. I was born and raised in Holland. My family came from Indonesia and my ancestors from China six generations ago. Now, tracing my roots gave me confidence about my cultural identity, a better relationship with my parents and my kids, and a central place to keep our family stories for generations to come. Like me, there are 150 million overseas Chinese, the target audience we're starting with. Industry average LTV is 400 US, which leads to a TAM of 60 billion. And we already unearthed key records, private clan history books going back thousands of years. So today we have 20,000 of these books, making us the largest database for overseas Chinese. We have 200 million searchable Chinese ancestors attracting over 45,000 users every single month. How it works is that for free, you can build your family tree. Then for an annual subscription, we match your relatives with our records. And this in turn will make you build out your family tree even further. Now our team has people from the largest genealogy platforms. We have people inside China and outside China, and I already built the leading custom Chinese genealogy business. Our unique strengths are recognized by former leadership of Ancestry itself who personally invested in us. So, we've got a proven model with a team to execute, we've got the right social political timing for underrepresented Asians, and we have first mover advantage with unique records and user data, which makes it hard for competition to enter. 
Join My China Roots and empower the Chinese diaspora to feel truly connected. Hi, I'm Rebecca, founder and CEO, and this is Momo, the inspiration behind Momo Project. There are 1 million pets in the U.S. and 70% households own a pet. We love our pets so much that we spend 109 billion on them every year. But where do we spend most of their money? Food. Pet food alone is 40 billion market, but there is no platform that aggregates them all in one place so pet parents can make better decisions in feeding their pets. As pet owners are realizing the importance of nutrition, they're spending more time and energy searching for the right food for their pets. But no matter how much time or money people spend, it's impossible to personalize nutrition based on your pet's background and needs. So Momo Project provides pet owners with personalized nutrition plans and products for their pets. Powered by our data-driven solution pulls out of 150,000 nutritional options balanced in recall history, their breed, life stage, and more. Our secret sauce is our proprietary data pipeline that was built over the course of the year, enabling us to scale into new product lines such as treats and supplements. Our nutritional recommendations are free, allowing for fast user growth, and we make profit through dropshipping of recommended products and subscription services of test kits and OTC medicines. Our team is made up of two serial entrepreneurs with a history of acquisitions, between us, we have a total 20 years of experience building consumer services and have grown our products to over 15 million users. Momo Project is the future of the pet care, starting with personalized nutrition. Join us in reaching 85 million pet owners across the U.S. to ensure their pets live their happiest and healthiest lives. Healthy pets and happy parents. Thank you. All right, welcome back. The next category we have today is software and SaaS. The first company we're gonna hear from in this section is Parrot. They're connecting startups with capital and talent. After that, we'll be hearing from GamerDrive, who is enabling people to create engaging and immersive 3D experiences for online communities. They're bringing events into the metaverse. Next is Justice Text, a software platform with a huge mission to improve criminal justice outcomes by expediting the review of body camera footage, interrogation videos, and other crucial video discovery. Hi, my name is Yago, CEO and co-founder of Parity. And our mission is to unlock Africa's internet economy by building infrastructure for entrepreneurship. We bring capital, talent, and founders into our community and power meaningful interactions through our marketplace. There's been three trillion in value created by startups globally, and over 80 ecosystems have produced unicorns. We want to build Africa's next tech powerhouse. The problem is 96% of companies report limited growth due to talent, and equity rounds in Africa can be upwards of 12 months, four times that of the US. Our solution, is a global community for startups with a capital and talent marketplace built in. Founders submit their pitch deck and financials to us for review. We evaluate each startup then create a bespoke workflow for them to reach their goals. In the past 12 months, we reviewed and onboarded over 750 companies with 730% year-to-date growth and 50% margins in our marketplace. Our secret sauce is our scoring and recommendation engine, which has seen over 16 million in equity and debt raise five companies that have gotten into YC and 500, and one company acquired. Our recommendation protocol has been able to predict that over a 78 or higher score leads to an eight times success rate in equity rounds. Now is the time. It took Africa 10 years to get its first unicorn, and in 2021, four have been minted. By 2025, Africa's internet economy is expected to reach $180 billion, with 45% of Africans living in cities. We make money through transactions in our marketplace and through subscriptions. As our data engine grows, we'll open up our APIs for lenders and other financial institutions. Our team is well positioned to execute with deep experience in scale tech companies like Facebook and Instagram and financial and legal institutions like McKinsey and Simpson Thatcher. Our ask is to help us raise our seed round 
to unlock our community of talent and creators and further develop our capital marketplace. If you like building communities and infrastructure, let's talk. Hi, do you have trouble staying engaged during online presentations? Are you tempted to check your phone or emails? If so, you're not alone. I'm Jovi, co-founder and CEO of Inverse. We rebranded from GamerDrive to Inverse because our Metaverse platform inverts the way that people meet online. We put you in control of your online experience in a way that keeps you actively engaged in virtual meetings and events. With the advent of the pandemic, virtual is and will remain the new normal. Yet, it's harder than ever to feel connected with others online. We need more than just a static grid of video boxes. No offense, Zoom. The solution is to invert how people interact in virtual communities. Our self-service platform lets organizers easily create, share, and monetize custom immersive 3D environments for their communities. Customers pay for these continuous environments and have the ability to include their branding on custom objects such as avatars and NFTs. We've served over 150 customers who've discovered that our unique platform solves their need for engagement while increasing their reach. We captured $110,000 in revenue in our first year, and we're on track to reach a million in the coming year. Recently, we hosted the largest Ethereum conference in North America, building our niche and credibility in the crypto and NFT communities. The popularity of virtual environments now known as the metaverse, is starting to explode. These new experiences are going to fundamentally change the way that we meet online, and the opportunity is rapidly growing into a trillion dollar market. Our team understands events and gamification, has scaled product teams at Fortune 500 companies, and has had successful exits. At Inverse, we're inverting passive listeners into active participants, creating a new and better way for the world to meet online and share memorable experiences. If you're ready to join us in this opportunity, please talk to us or visit inverse.events. Three months into my freshman year attending college in Chicago, the local government released a police dash cam video of an unarmed teenager named Laquan McDonald being shot 16 times by a local police officer. The officer ultimately received less than seven years as punishment, but without the video, there likely would have been no accountability at all. Unfortunately, Laquan's story is not an anomaly. Incidents like these have been taking place for many years, but the main difference now is that these interactions are being caught on camera. Over 80% of criminal cases today involve some form of video but this data means nothing without the tools to analyze it. We are building the first centralized infrastructure for storing, cataloging, reviewing, and sharing audiovisual data in the criminal justice system. Justice Text is an evidence management platform that generates automated transcripts of digital evidence, extracts key legal insights, and makes it easy for attorneys to create clips in preparation for trial. Attorneys use our software to quickly find the 10 second clip in five hours of jail calls that can help exonerate their client. We have already scaled to public defense offices across eight states and signed annual contracts with agencies serving over 50,000 low income individuals every year. Our users tell us that Justice Text is being used to deliver better outcomes for their clients, and we're so excited to see the scale of our impact. Over the next year, we hope to scale to 50 public defense agencies and over 500 private criminal defense lawyers. We have already secured paid pilots with New York City's mayor's office and Colorado statewide public defender system. We monetize our service with a simple uh, subscription model starting at $100 per user per month. Last year, we generated 20K in revenue. This year, we've generated 280K. Leslie and I are technologists of color who are working every single day to dismantle racism in our criminal justice system. We hope you'll join us. Thank you. Hello again. And now we move on to the FinTech vertical. We've got four companies presenting today, starting with Raise. They're building seamless equity infrastructure for the booming African tech economy. Next 
is Neon Financial. They are the buy now, pay later solution for essential recurring bills, such as rent, utilities, and insurance. After that, we'll hear from Kadana, offering modern payroll solutions for African businesses. And finally, Zipia, a Brazilian company building software to connect insurance agents and brokers to qualified consumers. See you in a few minutes. What's up, good people? I'm Marvin, the CEO at Raves. We've built Africa's cap table platform to make managing equity super simple. African tech is growing fast and we're on track to hit $20 billion in annual funding. All of this equity needs to be tracked somewhere though, but today's solutions are not built for Africa's tech ecosystem. We have complex structures with unpredictable tax and licensing rules across Africa's 55 countries. Literally, all of the cap tables we've ever onboarded were incorrect with expensive mistakes. Here's an example. Kenyan employees can be taxed for holding stock options in Delaware. So we built the feature that integrates Delaware and Kenyan lawyer to save a customer $400,000. Their employees could have literally gone bankrupt if they kept using an American cap table solution. So this is where Raise comes in. We onboard African startups 10 times faster than our competitors and simplify due diligence with clean equity data. Our secret sauce is local integrations with corporate registries, banks, and law firms. To date, we've onboarded over 200 cap tables in this ecosystem, and we're seeing 60% month-on-month growth in a number of companies going live. And to date, we've already captured 12% of all of the deals in African tech last year. We're led by a team of ecosystem builders like Tina, who built out ops and partnerships with one of Africa's largest VCs. And I'm a product architect, previously a VC lawyer at Dentons. We're distributing Raise to our community of over 3,000 startups and launching features across Africa's largest law firm and their 18 offices. We make money through subscriptions with plans to build business units that support features for valuations, primaries, and compliance. And as we grow, we'll open up APIs for startups and syndicates to access liquidity across Africa in seconds. Our focus is to scale liquidity for Africa's $12 trillion private markets. Let's talk if you're ready to build Africa's Carta. Thank you. Hi, we are Neon the buy now pay later for essential recurring bills. We enable consumers to pay their monthly bills and installments free of interest. Meet Susan. She's a nurse with an income of $200,000. She has been managing seven clinics during the pandemic with critically ill patients. She also has 10 bills to pay every month and no time to pay them. Her antiquated utility portals do not allow her to set her bills on auto pay. As a result, she's often late on her bills. Susan is not alone. Over 60% of Americans are stressed about their bills. We have figured out the model to make BNPL for recurring bills work. For customers like Susan, Neon replaces 10 different bill payments with two consistent and predictable automatic payments. They never have to visit their utility portals again. That is why our users love us. In just four months from launching, we have seen explosive demand and received over $70 million in credit applications. And we have secured a $10 million debt facility, using which we will scale to $60 million in bill payments processing. Neon makes it that simple for customers to get approved. We are building the technology that enables customers to plug in their utility or rent bills, which we can instantly analyze to give a credit decision in under two minutes. No other financial institution can do that today. We are consistently outperforming other BNPLs. Since we target recurring bills that customers pay for a lifetime, our average spend per customer is 14 times more than a firm or afterpay. And we have a stellar team. We are both technical co-founders and have built lending products for some of the largest financial institutions in the US before. To summarize, Neon is the buy now pay later for recurring bills. We have strong traction and a debt facility to scale quickly. If you're interested in learning more, come talk to us. Hi, 
I'm Albert and I'm the CEO of Kadana. We are building modern payroll for Africa. Payroll is critical to every business. Right now, payroll is a mess. Even though mobile money is growing, over 300 million workers still get paid in cash. Businesses spend 45 days per year and lose money to payroll and timesheet fraud. Financial institutions miss out on $50 billion in potential loans because workers have no proof of income. Kadana is the solution. Kadana digitizes payments to all workers. Even all bank workers can receive their salaries through Kadana. This is a game changer. We launched in Ghana and have been growing 110% month over month. In just six months, we've onboarded 43 businesses and dispersed $1.5 million in salaries to 5,000 plus employees. We're excited to announce that next month, we're launching in Nigeria and Kenya. After that, we expanded our reach to businesses across the continent. As we automate payroll for businesses, we're in a unique position to offer banking solutions directly to their workers. We are on top of the employee finance journey. Incomes go through our systems before it even gets to their banks. Today, we allow workers to access their earnings early. We're adding even more features like longer term loans, interest bearing cash accounts, currency conversions to crypto stable coins. We're building the future of compensation. And we're the best team to build this vision. Between Amir and I, we build software to power the Apple Card and Audible at Goldman Sachs and Amazon. This is in addition to leading fintech startups in the US. We're passionate about bringing all of this expertise back to Africa. Africa is the biggest opportunity of the decade. Email me to chat about Kadana's role in Africa's future. Thank you. Over 1 million Brazilians are shopping for auto insurance online every month. But carriers don't sell direct. They have to go with independent agents. And their journey is broken with long wait times and data getting lost. Agents hate this system too. Jet's agency worked every angle from classifieds to handing flyers on street corners. They tried going online but wasted a ton of money and they spent all their time chasing prospects by phone. So even though they knew there were thousands of sales to be made every day, they were shut out of this opportunity. Until they met us. Hi, I'm Pedro, CEO of Zipia, the company that is unlocking the digital channel for insurance in Brazil. It all starts with the right team. I spent over 20 years in digital marketing and strategy consulting, both in Silicon Valley and Brazil. Our CTO, Simon, is a Cambridge-educated serial entrepreneur with AI expertise and several exits. Daniel is a master of media and operations in Brazil. We spun out of Queen Street, the Nasdaq-listed company that dominates this market in the US. So how are we fixing this? Consumers come to our sites and fill in a form. Our platform analyzes their data, informs the best match, triggers an automated callback, and boom! Within a minute, they're talking to an agent. From the agent's point of view, every time the phone rings, it's a qualified prospect who wants to buy now. No more time tracking people down, no more time cold calling. ZP has grown 340% year over year, with a strong pipeline and key recent wins like LogiCore, a network of over 1,500 uh, agents. That's because we're helping clients like Jeff, who started last year in our platform with two sales reps and now has 12, planning to have 20 by the end of the year. There are over 100,000 agents in Brazil. We're starting with a 35 billion insurance opportunity and have a planned expansion into other segments and markets. Buying insurance online in Brazil is broken. If you want a part of the fix, come talk to us. Welcome back. And now we're going to move to our last vertical for the day, blockchain companies. First, we're going to hear from Cripcentra. They offer end-to-end -end digital asset investment tools built for institutions. Next is Mtech, a first-of-its-kind fintech modernizing central banking software with an API-first approach utilizing blockchain to power inclusion and resilient financial infrastructure. Next will be Emerging Impact, empowering financial service providers to easily develop, and customize, and deploy blockchain fintech products in emerging markets. And finally, Blockdo 
They're building steam for the expanding world of blockchain applications. Digital assets are transforming finance, yet institutional investors are sidelined. The market's investment tools are broken, standalone products that do not integrate with investors' existing workflows. Institutions are scrambling to form engineering teams and are paying for the entire infrastructure and data build out in house. What's worse is that for every new system and strategy developed, it takes millions of dollars and 25 to 50 weeks to develop. In a market as fast moving as crypto, this does not work and is forcing investors to leave billions of dollars on the table. Hi, we are Cryptcentra and we provide end to end digital asset investment tools built for institutions. With Cryptcentra, institutions can develop, test, and execute their investment strategies 10 times faster at a fraction of the cost, all within our platform. Institutions are using our turnkey data tools to maximize their returns. To date, we've seen extreme market demand from both crypto native and traditional financial institutions, all before we've launched our product. Our early adopter program has had some of the top performing crypto hedge funds, trading firms, asset managers, and family offices join alongside executive directors from Goldman Sachs and Bamo, to name a few. What's exciting about this is that it's all inbound and all organic. We haven't spent a penny on marketing. As a team, we are well positioned to become the industry leaders. Iola is a published engineer in quantum computing. I'm an infrastructure investment and finance scholar. And simply put, good luck finding an engineering problem that Dr. Benjamin can solve. To summarize, we are Cryptcentra. We provide institutional investors with digital asset investment tools that are 10 times faster than internal and external solutions. We are four months into development and we have hedge funds, trading firms, and many more using our platform. If you would like to play a part in building the infrastructure for the future of finance, we are the people to talk to. Every financial transaction that we engage in is either regulated or made possible because of central banks. We don't wake up every day thinking about our central bank, but we literally rely on them to have a functioning, inclusive, and stable financial system. Yet, they are stuck with old technology. It's time for modern central banking. My name is Carmel Cadet. I am the founder and CEO of MTech a fintech delivering cutting edge technology to central banks to drive economic development, financial inclusion, and sound financial regulation. Central banks regulate the financial sector, but they do it with paper-based processes, with email-based processes, no data analytics. And they issue, which happens to be the most inclusive form of money, but happens to be paper cash. With economies looking to go digital now, and risk of fintechs and innovation, we are struggling to keep up with demand. Earlier this year, we launched a pilot with a central bank in West Africa. And since then, we're signing up three more. We turned our first MOU into a multi-year contract and our pipeline doubled from 10 to 20 since then. Our team is the best to win this market. We have experience from IBM, US Federal Reserve, Central Bank across Africa, and KPMG. Our engineering team comes from world-class fintechs and strong, scalable B2B platforms. Our pricing model really shows the value that we bring to not only central banks, but to the financial service providers that they regulate. We charge a license fee and an API fee. With the rise of fintechs, blockchain, API-first architecture, AI, we believe the central bank of the future will be very different from the central bank of the past. The central, the future of central banking is here. We hope to talk to you soon in the booth. See you then. Hi, I'm Robbie Greenfield and I'm CEO of Emerging Impact. Traditional financial services are failing to reach over 3.4 billion people around the world. Let that sink in. 
That's over 46% of the world's population that the plaids, circles, and stripes do not support. And connecting them to these services requires expensive digital infrastructure and high transaction fees just to break even. Digital wallets nowadays are either too technical to use, require expensive smartphones, or don't even provide on and off ramps in that user's country. And this is where Emerging Impact comes in. We're creating the tools necessary for fintechs to deploy financial products in emerging markets two times faster and over 40 times more affordably. And we've developed the protocol, the DeFi API, and the payment rails so that you don't have to. Our team has already generated over $420,000 in revenue over the last 12 months, are deploying product pilots with flagship customers, and have over $3.9 million in customer pipeline alone. And this is just the very beginning. There's an over $722 billion opportunity to eliminate paywalled access to financial services by empowering anyone with any phone or financial account to easily access blockchain-based financial services. Our business model is diversified across monthly subscriptions to access our API, transaction fees to use our wallets, and yield margin to generate from our protocol. Even better, we are the best team in the world to do this. Our minority-led company is composed of world-renowned blockchain and social sector experts hailing from global blockchain leaders like Consensus and Amazon and major aid organizations such as Oxfam International and the World Food Program. We have decades of product experience and have already deployed products with millions of users. We're nearly fully subscribed in our pre-seed round and are looking to onboard the next billion crypto users. Join us to redefine emerging market finance. Thank you. Have you heard of NFTs? The NFT market has exploded this year. In August, the trading volume has reached $1 billion per week. More and more companies are starting to work with NFTs. However, if you have tried getting your hands on an NFT, you most likely had a hard time or even gave up. It takes a new user at least three hours to set up a wallet, and we know exactly how to fix this. I have been developing on blockchain since 2015. I have led a team to build a top-ranking crypto exchange and a high-performance blockchain. My co-founder Edwin is an experienced BD manager and has brought dozens of corporations onto blockchain. Along with the other 20 members, we have a collective 80 years of blockchain experience. We know how to build a simple, elegant experience and hide all the technical jargon from users. For example, CM Vault has integrated with our service so their users can set up wallets directly on their website within 20 seconds. Many other mass market facing applications, including NBA Top Shot and MotoGP Ignition, also chose our user friendly wallet service. Now, we have 20,000 daily active users, trusting us with $1 billion worth of crypto assets. When they trade, we take a percentage from the amount. That generates $500,000 of monthly revenue. And we're growing steadily by 70% each month. If you're building on blockchain or if you invest in blockchain projects, we would love to share more about how we can help blockchain developers minimize friction and quickly onboard users. We are Blockto. We aim to make blockchain simple. All right. And with that, we've come to the last pitches of the day. Thank you so much to Batch28 for all of your hard work and to everyone in the community, investors, founders, mentors, for being a part of their journey. Building a startup is never easy, but especially in times like this, it's been inspiring to see the focus and the drive for all the founders over the last few months, despite all the difficulties, all, all, all of the struggles of the, of the pandemic that continues to affect us all. We hope you enjoyed learning about these startups and for the investors in the community, if you'd like to continue to reach out and, and speak with them further, we invite you to head on over to Philo. Uh, where we have the open networking space where you'll, be able, where you'll be able to reach out to the founders directly, ask them questions, 
book meetings, and network with other investors. We're also uh, able to offer another space for you to connect with the 500 community uh, at 500.vc, where you can join our investor-only Slack community to stay abreast of everything that's going on in the 500 community and connect with other investors. Last, before we sign off for the day, I'd love to say another thank you to all of our network partners, again, without whom we couldn't put on these types of events. From all of us here at 500, thank you so much for joining and listening to all the pitches. We'll see you in early 2022 for batch 29.